<laughs> I think it's a good idea to start experimenting with meth when we're babysitting. Are we live, mate? Yeah, we are. Episode number 12. 12. The Muddy and Michael Fully Anxious Podcast here in Michael's basement. It's been a while, man. How much would it cost, Matt, for you to try meth? Oh. To try meth. How much would we have to pay you to do meth? How much of a meth? How much do I have to do? Just one hit. A big fucking pipe hit. Like oh, a no, hit. nothing that's going to kill you. No, Just but like little. a decent hit. Why? Just because it's science. Oh, I don't, what, how much are you offering? No, just, no, yeah, you no, tell us how is, much? Uh, no, this is a you tell us we're what bartering. You, you tell us what you, it's fair. How much would you do meth for? Oh, it's so disgusting to me. Um, I don't know, like a grand. Fuck off! You would try meth for a grand. <laughs> yeah, really. We're okay. <laughs> Next, on your holidays, when you have holidays from clang clang clang, you have to fucking. If we give you a grand, Fuck you will do meth. We, we on the boys we, trip on the boys trip you'll do meth we won't oh. film you doing it but we'll, we'll let people know that you're going to do meth and then oh. you go walk off camera do meth and then come back and tell us what it's like <laughs> oh no that was a horrible you, conversation no, you, you said you'd do it mat. for a grand yeah I said yeah of course I would I'm just saying it's not very anyway it's yeah, like it's a uh, fucking let us know if you want us if you would like to see Matt it's not on very meth. very if you'd like it to is see very, Matt very. on meth I would love to see Matt on meth <laughs> that's a very good idea yeah we, we're gonna try that anyway um, I'm scared what it'll do to me it's not like yeah it'll fuck you up a become bit. super brown no Ooh. you'll love it dude yeah, love it is, it it's pretty time. fun I'll have yeah, all of like, you I reckon on the boys trip you do it and then you get to stay awake you get to enjoy the whole boys trip yeah. there's no sleeping <laughs> It's sort of we should all do meth on the boys trip. <laughs> there, that's what oh, that's what it. he was leading to is that we all get on meth. Let's it's let's Next do boys trip. All and right, if the purest one, if we does all it, do we'll meth, have a meth day. If you all do meth, if we all do meth, will you do it for free? No. But there's days for your clang clang work not to know that it's in your system. I don't want to do it. Okay. So that's why the money option will bring me in. Meth day on the boys trip, you do it for a grand. Thousand and we dollars. Do for, that's we do a thousand dollar offer for any friend. If that's they pretty good. Do meth. Everyone should be able to pay their mate if they have the money to do meth. Let's see how good your self-control is, mate. Let's see if you get addicted, cunt. We should pay him 10 grand and see if we can get him hooked. (laughs) 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 We we call him meth (laughs) Matt. Or just Uh, meth. Or or brownie (laughs) meth. Oh, oh, dude. (laughs) Yeah, fuck. Maybe not. We won't get you hooked, Matt. But... I would love. I reckon we should have a meth day at the next boys. Oh, look, we'll, we'll, we'll think about You're it. Disgusting. Comment. Let us know if you think we should do meth on the next boys trip, and if Matt should do meth, especially for a thousand dollars. All right, fucking shit talk. Uh, we had a bit of a, a mate's wedding on the weekend, didn't we, Matt Brown? We did. Emil's was was very lovely. Uh, I wasn't invited. No, you weren't invited. So no, suck shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the second wedding I haven't been allowed to go to. <laughs> The funny thing was, um, uh, one of the girls were there goes, oh, I heard um, Marty from Marty and Michael's coming. Oh, yeah, he is. And then they went, oh, I heard he's the better one of the two to invite. And I said, oh, to be honest, I think it's the other way around. I think Michael would actually be quite decent. <laughs> it you depends. If you got Marty. me, yeah. like, proper plastered, it could be, like, yeah, I, yeah, Yeah, you might not have had enough respect for a meal. <laughs> <laughs> it would have just been a, a wedding that I'm allowed to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I understand. It was sm- it was small and intimate. Like you would have liked it would have been fun. Yeah, it was only like twenty seven people or something. Yeah, shit. it was it was quite nice. Quite intimate. But yeah. anyway, it was, it was a very fun night. I did a little dance with Emil in front of his Yeah. Family. I gave him a kiss in front of his whole family. On the lips? On the lips. Oh man, that's it was hot. very funny. With tongue? Nah, I tried. Have you oh, okay. Nothing. Sorry. Um <laughs> Yeah, well, guess what? What? It's my birthday. It's been my birthday. Oh, yeah. Right now. It's, oh, yeah. This is my last week as a 31-year-old man. Michael's birthday is on Saturday. We're going to go and have a bit of a party party. <laughs> That's going to be fucking nuts. I wonder what also, it's like. I haven't put the, the uh, deposit down for it yet, so it might not happen. <laughs> oh, well, we'll find somewhere to fucking roll around. I want to do that. And yeah. um, I don't know if you've seen on social media, you know how Michael had a fuckload of rats? Well, uh, and remember that I even sprung up with the idea on a fucking podcast. You might remember. I was like, fuck, it'd be funny to get the rats from inside 
uh, from outside to inside. So I bought fucking mouse traps, rat traps, ones that catch them alive. And all of the fucking mice and rats are gone, completely gone. Because of the, f- we realized it was right after the floods that they left. I haven't heard them since the floods. So that we like could not catch any fucking rats. So I went and bought a hundred and then we fucking threw them in Michael's bedroom. But you weren't even that scared. Well, they were sort of like, I, I knew they were pet rats sort of. It was scary seeing these weird little creatures. But then I realized, oh, they're pet ones because they're all white. They yeah. weren't vicious like that no, one. Yeah. Remember that and one they were the real front? slow. Like they were cute. And then one bit me and freaked me out. <laughs> but like, yeah, I'm not into, oh, I, I must say I did want to keep one, but instead we let them out back. We yeah, freed we them. Fr- we drove to a secluded part of it with some forest and just released them. But I guarantee you, they would have been, they're probably all dead now. They stood out so much because they're white. Do you think that all the ones that were in the house originally have been eaten by a giant python? Yeah, maybe. I don't think so. You don't reckon? Because usually they but get... But there were a lot, man. Yeah, that usually... There was it. like, seriously, we saw 10 that time going across the beam. And I, I've seen like, oh, like, probably five other occasions in the garage. They were yeah, always they hanging out. They come out of the bins and jump at me, but... Uh, the snake would be gone now, but I'm just wondering, because usually when you have a lot of rats in a place, it, usually you'll find that the snake will show up at some point and eat a few of them. I think that's an urban legend. That's a myth, cunt. Sorry. Sorry about that, eh? But anyway, um, it's going to be a wild episode. No PO box this week. But um, what are we having instead? Do we have no PO box? <coughs> oh, we got Nothing. Nikki. We've oh, got yeah, you back this yeah, week. Yeah, German segment back this week. We're going to start a with Nikki's one. game. Or a slightly different German game. Um, and other than that, it's just a pretty fucking standard episode. We've got a Bachelor Brown. We've got a, we got a black book entry. We've got Michael's written a Bible entry that pulled out. we got fucking Questions. prank call. We're gonna. What did we say for the prank call? What are we doing? Uh, I reckon we call up a hotel uh, again. Hotel as Arnold Fine and say he needs his service pig to be able to book a place with his service pig. Sleep in the room. Because he has oh. anxiety when he goes um, in public and the pig's the only thing that stops him from being and anxious. And the pig actually identifies as his a dog. Wife. Or a wife, yeah. So they have to technically now let the pig um, go in as his wife or dog. So same, pretty jam-packed fucking episode coming Ronda. your fucking way, cunt. You I don't know mean. if you remember last week fucking we said, bring your fucking yearbook in, Matt Brown. And we wanted to see Matt Brown when he was a little um, oh. little spunky horn dog. So this is actually my sister's one. But remember I told you the story that that there was you, another Matt Brown in year 12 and my sister was in year 12? You replaced that, but and Brown. my photo got put in his spot, so... <laughs> Let's have a look here. Try and cover up my sister's name. Well, so you get double record, like. (laughs) (laughs) Look at Matt Brown. What the fuck, man? Holy shit. You look so different there, you fucking cunt. (laughs) Hold it up. Hold it up to the camera, but cover my sister's name when you do it. I wonder if that's working. (laughs) Matt. Matt down. It honestly looks like you when you were in high school. It is me in high school. <laughs> How old were you there? I was 14, I think. Uh, it doesn't look anything like Matt. If you're listening on Spotify and stuff, what would you describe it as? Um, it I looks like, like a pineapple. He looks kind of like... Um, I look a, a bit You know the, the cartoon Just, movie 101 Dalmatians? No. The husband... Of the wife, but instead of that hair, it's just like spiked up hair. No, did anyone watch Around the Twist? He's Bronson. Ah, yep, yep, yep. You look like from Around the Twist. twist. That's a compliment. Anyway, that's fucking some childhood shit from Matt Brown. There you go. Also, guys, don't forget, we got, let's do our sponsors. Oh, shit. Let's do our fucking sponsors. Please like and comment and subscribe, by the way, before we get into this. Please like, comment, and subscribe. <coughs> All right, let me just get the oh, Nord VPN. While you're saying like, fucking... comment, subscribe, do you want to tell everyone about the TikTok? Oh, yeah, the fully actual TikTok. Oh, yeah, guys, before we jump into the sponsors, we do have a TikTok dedicated to this podcast where we just post little snippets. So it's Marty Michael, fully actual on TikTok. So go on, um, if you're on TikTok, go and give it a follow and engage with some of the shit. And if you've got any suggestions for TikToks, little snippets from the podcast... Send Feel free through. to send them on through, cunt. We'll be doing that. We'll be posting a lot more reels on the fully actual Instagram as well. 
Wow. NordVPN. Do you have a VPN? What? You don't? What the hell, man? You idiot. Don't <laughs> you know you could have so much security that no one can track where you're fucking going? Don't you want that, idiot? No one can fucking track your shit, cunt. Don't you fucking want that, cunt? You fucking idiot. If you don't want that, cunt, oh. you're a dumb bitch. Seriously. And that's straight from the heartstrings. No, I, I back that. <laughs> hey, look, do you want to know some more shit? It doesn't even make your internet slower, all right? It's the same speed. So what have you got to lose? I'll tell you, nothing. Do you know why? It's only $3.35 a month if you go on a two-year plan. That's basically free. On a two-year plan? A two-year plan. Only $3.35 each plus, plus, plus. If you use our discount code fully actual, you get a huge discount on top of that and a free bonus gift. Do you understand? Plus an extra month free and there's a money back guarantee if you don't like it. The link is in the description or go to nordvpn.com slash fully actual if you want all of that insane. It's like free, basically. I think, yeah, I think they pay you. Yeah, it's pretty sure you make money. That's how cheap it is. So if you want to make money, get NordVPN. It's like solar power. 110% Hundred percent, man. <laughs> oh, it's a man. small Just investment. Think about it. Like, if you want to watch any show from like, uh, like Thailand, just you get you get a Thailand VPN. You can watch like their fucking soap, like operas and dude. That's really Thailand shows yeah, are great. Yeah, Thailand. If you wanted to, you could go to India on your laptop. You mm. actually go it's, to India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's you like use traveling. it as a portal. Yeah, right. Mm. It's traveling. You mm. could Google India. And then do the street maps. And you're there. And you're there. You don't and no one travel. knows. And no if you've knows. got the VPN on, no one will know you no there. No one will know yeah. you're there. So I'm pretty sure you can't even be seen. Yeah, if you want to run from the government, you get a VPN. If you're yeah. uh, any sort of criminal, criminal activity, if you're buying drugs from the dark web, <laughs> use NordVPN. 100%. That would help out. Dude, that, that would have helped us out so much. And use Bitcoin. Yeah. Anyway, NordVPN, get it. Get it. <laughs> oh, oh, our second sponsor, everybody. <laughs> a fucking manscaped. Are you a dumb, hairy piece of shit? Black, wiry fur, so thick people can't even tell you're a human being anymore. Well, go to manscaped.com. They got heaps of male grooming product. Some of the best shavers we've ever seen in our lives. They will shave your hair and leave your skin untouched. Do you understand me? Matt's pouring, always pours the shampoo on my legs, uses a bottle every time. Michael and I like to use the nose trimmer. Michael's balls have never been so clean shaven. It's sickening. Yeah, everything smells good from Manscaped. They got ball wipes, they got lip balm, they got deodorants. Just go to manscaped.com and see. Now, I know what you're thinking, thinking, oh, yeah, what, what do I get out of this? Oh, why would I go on there? Shut up, idiot. 40, 20% off with fully actual 20 as the discount code. You fucking idiot get our discount code you fucking idiot look at it fully actual 20 type it in now you're saving money so now you're a dumb fucking dickhead if you don't fucking use our discount code cunt <laughs> and women can use it too so our two sponsors combined you're saving yourself an arm and a leg plus you have protection and a shaved knee hey while we're on the topic of shaving balls I was um, shaving myself before the weekend and I was like, you Your know Your testicles? What? Yeah, everything. You were expecting And some- I was trying to get like, so I'd finish with the manscape and it worked perfectly exactly how I wanted it to. I wanted that little extra bit of shave. Mm-hmm. And so I was getting around like this top it and like just at the top of like my dick, there was just like the lightest of folds in the skin and it fucking, the, the razor blade nicked it and it pissed fucking Ooh. blood everywhere. Matt's dick piss blood. So so don't get the shavers. <laughs> <laughs> no, the shavers were good, but yeah, I used a razor. It worked a little too well. Anyway. Oh, so it wasn't that one. Yeah, it wasn't Manscaped. Okay, oh, so I used That's a Manscaped why. thing. It was perfect, except the, I used this razor afterwards and I nicked myself and yeah, it just wouldn't stop. I had to do the old shaver trick where you push something on like a bit of paper, paper on it. Why does these suddenly smell? Oh, yeah. uh, and our final sponsor, of course, is the University of Michael. We post a weekly video that's fucking oh, it's nuts. Balls. It's either a, an adventure from us, but usually it's just a really fucked up video, disgusting or pain that you've never seen before. You will never see this content anywhere else. If you don't believe me, go on, have a look. It's a 21-day free trial. So you 
you can leave before you get charged. So if you don't believe me, come on, go prove me wrong. Go on that fucking site and you show me where you can fucking see that shit anywhere else. It is fucked, cunt. There is some crazy shit on there and we're the fucking best at it, cunt. And right now there's probably in the experiment which kitchen utensils hurt the most. Oh, okay. And let, and let me tell you, mate, it's, it's, uh, it's surprising. The winner is surprising, isn't it? And, of course, the extended rat prank out right now. Yeah. And then the following week, I think we're going to figure out if humans can become cheaters. You guys asked everyone if they wanted to do vlogs or of your event, like adventure vlogs. Yeah, did it. Ringworm of the Ring. Well, we got a fair few comments saying yes. Um, one, there was one that said um, he wants more pain. Mm-hmm. But, well, um, but everyone where do we get, now we got to figure out where to go vlog. It's like, fuck. I think it's not much in Brisbane. Yeah, I know. We gotta, it's like a fucking, it's there's so an airport. There's like a few skyscrapers. Maybe you do it. A, well. Maybe you do as like a thing. Maybe once a month. Yeah, well, yeah, we need to fucking think. Of, if you have any suggestions for shit that you want to watch us vlog, let us know because we're always too scared. It's going to be like too boring if we just go to a fucking like I don't know, just go like go karting for the day or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, that's you know? there. You can't do that. But what you can do, and go this is bounce. my idea, I reckon we go like. We've, there's a plane wreckage in Brisbane. That's a shit. It's it is a shit plane wreckage. That's sh- why we want to go there. But we want to go to the plane wreckage and shit on, on the it. plane because it's a historical piece. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about us putting that out there. No, you're allowed to so- shit on a yeah, wreckage. Birds shit on it. Don't cunt. They don't bat an eyelid. Fuck. We can't take it, but we can shit on it, or at okay. least smear some on. I'll check the books. But anyway, yeah, so we'll be doing some wreckage. we'll be doing some adventure vlogs and our typical pain shit as well. All right. So it's fuck it's over two hundred videos on there now and it funds everything that we do. So fucking go and have a fucking geese, brother. Should I get is it time for it's break. Right, we're back. If you haven't so far, please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment and shit, man. Just lots of comments. But remember, everyone, before we get into on this day, just remember we have a competition. Did we say two two thousand dollars? One thousand for the any any comment that is put on any podcast of Michael, this season. Other way, other way, Michael. Other way. Shit. <laughs> Any comment that is put on any podcast from this season has the chance to win a thousand dollars. The more you comment, the higher your chance of winning. And that's across. If you, you don't even need to make sense, you can just write a comma, and that comment could win a thousand dollars at the end of the oh season. Oh my god! I just realised you could have comment of the week, and co- you could pulled out as comment like of the year. You could double win. Yeah, hundred percent. You could have a double. It's a very small chance, but Highly it could unlikely. happen. That is two thousand dollars. Highly though. unlikely. If that happens, we're all getting fully actual. Imagine patterns. if a Marty and Michael. That's two mates on meth. Imagine if Marty, a Marty and Michael comment won the money. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh shit it dude. could happen and i will <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. it could actually happen i'm not lying yeah, about one of anything. the time stamp comments wins <laughs> yeah anything could happen it's literally you don't know what's going to happen on this podcast <laughs> <laughs> anything is so unexpected man there's pubic hair on the fucking table yeah it's true. piss here there's piss and shit everywhere man Cubes. on this day is the shit still in the toilet hey no, no, we no, took no. that out okay. within uh, the hour. Sorry. Too much. <sighs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> On this day in 1992, Stephen Seagull emerged from a silver cocoon hanging in the Amazon forest. No one knows exactly what Stephen Seagull is, but he has been witnessed communicating with foxes and pigs. He has no family, probably, and has never had a wife either, I think. After thorough research, I personally believe that Steven Seagal is a mutated seed. And if we were to plant Steven Seagal, I believe an alien plant would grow. Really, man? It's true. Bullshit. Fucking, or look a it up. seagull tree. M- mutated seed. I met him once in Mongolia. 
Steven Seagal. Really? Is he the dude that does all the action films heaps? Long he, hair. He man. did action films at one point. He has long hair. <laughs> That's how I remember him too. Little ponytail. Yeah. I like him. I like him now after that. Yeah, that's impressive. That's really stand up. Stand up, cunt. <laughs> that's really stand up, cunt. That's journalism at its top fine. <laughs> it's off tap. Steven Seagal is a mutated seed, mate. Brown figured that out. That should be headlines all over the Daily Mail, cunt. Cunt. Sorry. Anyway, moving right along to Michael's fucking Bible. Can you please pass oh, me a fucking Bible? <laughs> Sorry, dude. Okay. All right. Book nine, chapter 12, verse nine from Flalalalalai. <laughs> Imagine letting a strange man that you do not know enter your body without a dom who didn't really go through a proper STI check. <laughs> Would you let him fuck you? Hmm? If you let him inside you... You can go to the movies whenever you want and even go out for dinner. If you don't, you only get Netflix and takeaway at home. The man seems to be friendly but has a lot of support, but he can also be quite forceful. It seems really to give no other choice but to let him fuck you. Just imagine a world where that could be because that world isn't really being much B. If anything, it sounds really shit and dumb. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> what was going on there? I think I don't know. I was like hammered drunk. <laughs> That's how most most Bibles are written. Yeah, yeah I'm probably. pretty sure Jesus was fucking on it. Eh? He, he loved his wine. Loved his opiates too, can't yeah. he? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. They just be sleeping all day. <laughs> yeah, can't. He was fucking koala, can't. He was fucking <laughs> put up on that cross, can't. He was passed out. He was He was And then they buried him for three days, but he was just fucking out of it, can't. Yeah, he woke up. Nothing <laughs> withdrawals, baby. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> it. <laughs> Holy he shit. He's fucking gone MIA, cunt. He had too many fucking opiates, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Sorry. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy oh. shit. We discovered some impressive shit then. All right. It is now time. Oh, yes. Oh. For the most disgusting segment any podcast has ever had before it. The most vile, sickening inner thoughts of the most deranged sex freak, Matthew Gregory. Oh, most little black The book. ending. I don't think you can. You can't so talk this, about me like that. <laughs> this is pretty much a segment where we find an excerpt from Matthew's black diary here where he has detailed a very dis very vivid description of every single girl that he's ever fucked. Or girl, corpse, man, thing, whatever. Everything's in there. All of his haves. Alright? Now I'm just gonna pick one at random. I hope that none Matt of them has listen. personally written. Personally written all of them. No intervention, no help. He just went home, brought me this black book and said, here, this is what I used to do. I didn't fucking give it <laughs> to you. He said, here. here. And he meant here as in H-H-E-A-R. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Have <laughs> number 30. Oh, more on my back. Brown. My brown. <laughs> Stop. Matt, that's what it says. That's what it says. God. <laughs> it was a humid, sticky summer's day. I was lying naked on the roof of my house, scanning my neighborhood for drunk females. Sweat was flowing down my chest and would pool in my belly button. I scratched my scrot with my long fingernails, picking fleas off as I went. 
I was admiring a festering patch of discharge crusted onto the tip of my little brown. I would gently run my fingers over it and let the hard, crusty outer layer tickle my skin. Discharge had been oozing from my cock mouth for over two weeks, and I knew something wasn't right. My little brown lazily flopped around on my belly, and I could tell he was feeling quite sick. I must have picked something up from that rotting stillborn I fucked a few weeks ago. I finally scratched the crust off and headed off to my doctor's appointment. I'd never been to a human doctor before, and was quite nervous. I arrived, and while in the waiting room, my little brown gargled with pain as the other patients shot me concerned glances. The doctor came in and saved my embarrassment. Mr. Brown? Follow me, please. I scampered after the doctor like a frightened prawn. The doctor led me into a room and closed the door behind us. So what seems to be the problem, man? <clears throat> My little brown is sick and is producing discharge that smells of cheesy fish and boiled cane toads. Okay, very specific. Why don't you pop your pants off for me and we'll have a look. I slowly stand, still unsure of whether to trust this doctor. I pull my pants down and reveal my writhing little brown, discharge splattering and spraying from its end. Oh, oh my god. I don't believe I've ever seen anything like this before. I'm going to have to check your prostate and take some blood. I was unsure what checking my prostate meant, but turned around and bent over onto the examination table as instructed. I watched him put gloves on and then apply lubricant to his finger. <clears throat> All right, you might feel a bit of pressure here, he said. This can't be happening. Is this doctor attempting to have me after I showed him my festering disease, little brown? Surely this man wasn't a doctor. I'd never heard of such treatments. Sure enough, I feel his hands separate my huge ass cheeks, and I feel his finger glide into my messy, messy dot. I was stunned, frozen with fear as his finger fiddled around and worked its way up my colon. My mind was racing, but then I look down and see that my little brown looks healthier. He is rock hard and seemingly enjoying this man's finger. The discharge had stopped and it was swollen and throbbing like it usually does. I could see the cream running through my protruding cock veins. I realised that this may be how human doctors treat my particular ailment. Maybe having cures my stinky discharge. I suddenly became more relaxed and started enjoying the experience. I pressed back into the doctor, <laughs> whose entire hand now disappeared up my thirsty asshole. I felt the doctor try and pull his hand out, but I gripped his wrist with my ring muscles and just like a snake I began swallowing this doctor's arm what's going on the doctor shouted his fear fueled my lust and my ass enveloped him further up to his shoulder now he was on his knees desperately trying to pull his arm free what are you help hey, help me I turned my head 180 degrees so I could look him in the eyes I'm Matt Brown suddenly my asshole relaxes and he falls back as his arm is freed my little brown is swaying from side to side eager to bury itself in this doctor. I jump on top of the doctor and grab his head on either side. I lower my face so it's an inch from his. I study him as my eyes dart around his face independently. Just like those chameleon lizards. He seems to be scared, which was strange, I thought. He must be excited to give me my treatment. My tongue explodes into his mouth and wraps itself around the doctor's tongue and starts working up and down like it's jerking it. My little brown has already crawled in between his legs and has eaten a hole in the back of his pants. The doctor's arms are flailing around and his eyes were wide open. I couldn't understand what he was saying as I still had his tongue wrapped up in mine. I assumed he was enjoying it and continued. My little brown burrows in between his cheeks and dives into his ass and plunges into his inner shit. I start rolling my hips forwards and back while still filling his entire mouth with my tongue. The doctor was kicking and pushing ferociously. He must really have been loving this. We roll around on the floor, knocking over chairs and equipment. My Roll fucking starts to speed up and my eyes spasm with pleasure. I grind bang harder and heavier. My little brown had drilled its way through the doctor's collar and was now sitting in his stomach. The doctor had tears running from his shocked face. I still couldn't make out what he was saying, but through his muffled screams, but I was getting close to climax. I release his tongue from my tongue and arch my back as my hips hit tops fucks thrust speed. Power fucking at such speed that my hips were a blur. Ah! 
<laughs> greasy black men's power flung from my little brown deep into the doctor's body. We maintained eye contact as I filled and soon my mints began gushing from his eyes, ears and mouth as his body was full. I finally finished mincing and I unplugged my little brown from his body. <laughs> mints was still bubbling and steaming from the doctor's orifices as he lay on the floor. He was dead. He couldn't <laughs> handle my mints. Strange that this is how the doctor chose to treat me, yet couldn't handle it himself. His treatment did seem to work though, and my little brown looked completely back to normal. This doctor sacrificed his life so that I could have a healthy little brown. Thank you, kind doctor. I gently kissed him on the forehead, shit in my nappy, and penguin dove out the third story window. I pounded backwards home and was glad that my human doctor experience was so wonderful. I no longer fear doctors. <laughs> he, he pencil dove. He penguin dove. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh. I prefer pencil, but that is good. Holy shit, Matt! That was very. <laughs> you love doctors. That's why you love doctors now. You love going to the doctors just because <gasps> you might get a prostate check, which you Matt thinks is sex. <laughs> Matt thinks the doctor was doing that on purpose Initiating sex But no Matt That's just him checking prostate And you killed him for that Oh no You killed him for no reason <laughs> he, he, was, he was panicking And you, he couldn't talk to you Because you had his tongue wrapped around Your tongue wrapped around his Oh my god He couldn't scream properly <laughs> Flailing his arms and legs <laughs> Until you filled him with so much ejaculate That it poured from his mouth and eyes Yeah, sorry about that <laughs> And that's not right <laughs> oh, 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 Holy shit, dude That is so intense uh, if you oh. guys if you can't support us in any other way right please just like if we put a little smile on that dial please like subscribe and don't forget to comment anything every time you comment not only you're helping us but you're helping yourself and you're being financial because <laughs> you can win a thousand fucking dollars <laughs> uh, please go ahead and do that and if we're on Spotify give us five star rating it's so easy mm. you just search for us and then you click on the stars go five star done remember I was going with it Far too ringed, mate. <laughs> Dude, that was the most intense fucking brown yet. Really? He <laughs> <laughs> killed a man. <laughs> yeah, you killed a man. I lost, lost Michael to giggles. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> it's so intense. <laughs> Dude, oh, you've murdered someone. Oh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> oh my All right, God. Speaking of murdering people, Matt murdering people, it's time for us, our, one of our favorite segments. It's time for Michael and I to step into Matt Brown's life. It's not one of our fucking favorite. organize it, right? It's time for Bachelor Brown, 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 Brown. Oh, no, he Bachelor go. Brown, Brown, Brown. He's right behind you. He's always behind you. Please turn around before it's too late. Oh, he's right behind you. Oh, my God. Ah, 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 ah. My brow's right behind you. And this is a segment where Michael and I hand select neighbors will be like, wow, females to have a phone date with Matt Brown. Okay, hand pick them, and just to help Matt on the right path, we know what he needs to look for in a girl. Matt has no idea. There he sits, all alone <laughs> on a toilet, grown man, or sitting on a toilet. Talking absolute nonsense. There's no shit in the toilet. And completely single. Actually, one of the funniest things at that wedding was nearly every single person was in a couple, and that was the ongoing thing. <laughs> Oh, so where's your, you know, who's your partner? Like, you know what I mean? Just, where's your girlfriend? Yeah, so are you seeing anyone? She's in the trunk of my car. <laughs> well, we did see you, Matt, like, dance with someone. Yeah, Matt, a little bit. Yeah, she was my partner in the, because I was part of the wedding party, everyone, and she was my partner for the wedding party. She was really good. 
Uh, Connor, I trust you. If you think that's okay, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's leave cool. it. Here. Of course, Connor's gonna love that. Of yeah, course, if you, you think leave that, it. you think oh, we might know. get cancelled? Yeah, I don't know. It's sort of promoting clang clang. <sighs> What's clang clang? <laughs> <laughs> giggle giggle. giggle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. oh. Clang, clung, clung. All right, let's get this over with because it's not fun for me. All right, this is a segment where, like I said, we find a girl from Matt Brown, we call her live on the show oh, and fucking fuck. help oh, Matt yes. through this because he is so bad at it. You wait till you hear how bad Matt is at this. I'm already sweating. Yeah, exactly. What's her name? Shazza? Shazza. Shazza. Yep. Shazza. Shazza. Dude. Matt, don't start your judgy McPants. You're called Matt. You are Matt <laughs> Brown talk. and you are Greg's son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, All right, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello? Hello, Sharon. This is Marty and Michael here. And you are on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual Podcast and I have a very excited but timid Matt Brown next to me. He's been stressing about talking to you. Um, he's a really nice guy. Don't judge him just based off what you're about to hear from him alone because he's a nervous fucking wreck and his eyes are shooting all over the place and there's drool all down his front. You check if it's her yet? I haven't even given her a chance <laughs> to speak. Could be the wrong number. Hello, is this Sharon? Shazza, yeah. Yes, I thought it might have been, Matt. I thought it might have been. All right, Shazza. Well, um, look, I'm going to... Uh, let you let Matt talk to you um, and he's going to sort of ask some questions about you and just try and get to know you a little bit. Go, Matt. Come on. Think of something. Oh. That's good. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Matt. <laughs> oh, my God. Tell her what you do. Um, Dude, ask her something. This is so embarrassing. Can you stop for a sec? <laughs> Shazza, do you have anything you'd like to ask Matt to try and break the ice? His hands are literally shaking. He's bleeding right now. Yeah. I do have a question. Mm. So it's, say, the Sunday. Now, if you were to meet my mother, what would you get her for Mother's Day? <gasps> Holy oh, shit. Oh, yeah. That's get so a, relevant. Fucking get her one of Hang these. Hang on. Stop it. Get her one of stop, these. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Um, I don't know your mother, so I would be very smart and I'd buy her flowers. What would you say to so, her, though? So my mother is actually a gardener and she thinks it's an absolute waste of money buying flowers. <laughs> when you pick them. You oh, she'd up. punch you. She'd get punched she in the set face. Me up. <laughs> she set me up. <laughs> oh. So what would your mum do if Matt gave her a dozen of the freshest red roses? Oh, she'd be so polite about it. She is the sweetest human. So oh, well, that's oh, nice. There you go, Matt. See, all mothers are sweet. Yeah, Matt, not calm all. down. Okay, you're not talking all, to Shazza. Most. You're not having a go at her mum. <laughs> he, he swelled up a bit then. He got a bit excited. Um, think, Shazza, think Shazza, I'm threesome. Can you calm down? Shazza, I notice you have a, is it a Kiwi accent? I do, yes. So whereabouts are you in New Zealand? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Where are you from? Shh. Are you in I'm New from Zealand? Or- but I've only been back in New Zealand for about 18 months now. Ah, oh, okay. Get off me. God. <laughs> um, so, were well, you were in Australia before that? No. So, I spent the last four years in Canada. Um, wow. Before that, backpacking in Peru and Bolivia. And you're- before that, oh. I actually just live in Peru. You're in Peru and Bolivia? Ask her if she's yes. married. I went so there. Well. I went there ask, once. ask her if she likes anyone from the podcast. Do you like anyone from the podcast? <laughs> Marty and Michael. Ask her if she likes anyone from the podcast more than a friend. <laughs> do you? This is so shit. Yeah, do you, do you like anyone on the podcast more than a friend? <laughs> oh, definitely you. Okay, please. Uh, okay. All right, Sha- um, Shazza, what do you do uh, when you're not working? What, what do you do for fun? Um, I try and spend as much time as I can with my family and friends since I've been away for so long. Oh, okay. That's good. Where have they been? No, me. I was traveling. 
She was uh, traveling. Ask her if she'd <laughs> consider like going out with someone from the podcast. Before I ask her that question, hey, when you were in Bolivia, Shazza, did you go to, um, is it Route 36 or 26? Shit. The uh, it's, it's neither. I'm curious. He loves the cocaine story. Yeah. Shaz? Oh, right. Yeah. So I was just in La Paz. Yeah. Uh, for a little bit. I spent more time in Peru. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. All good. I wrote my name on the wall there. Anyway. <laughs> um, hey, Shazza, do you ever come? Do you come? You, so you come to Australia a bit or not much? I am planning to go there in September for a friend's wedding. Oh, where is, where is the wedding at? It's in Perth. Oh, oh man. you are willing to go to Perth though, Pick man. you up on the way You always said you'd go to Perth You yeah. said that you did want to go there I do want to go to Perth actually See? I've never been oh my Well, God. do you get a plus one to this wedding, Shaz? No, no, you can't invite Just myself wait. to a wedding Just wait That's out of control You are not inviting yourself, I'm inviting you <laughs> Do you have a plus one to this wedding, Shaz? Sure, I could get a plus one to the wedding Oh, that Hang Matthew on, Brown is going on, to another geez. wedding Hang on oh, Now, Shaz, when we get off the phone here, do you, do you have Instagram? Would you mind um, adding Matt Brown one 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 on Instagram? It's four ones. I actually for this phone call. Oh, she already does. That's perfect. Um, uh, maybe you guys can have a conversation. And I seriously think that um, Michael and I would be happy to pay for the costs of the travel. But if you can get a plus one to that winning, we would really love to uh, send Matt Brown with you. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, no. You're yeah, dude, we're going me. on an excursion. <laughs> no. You're going on an excursion. It's just a fun oh. date. What a better a fun date than a wedding, baby. It'll be yeah, fun. Weddings I are- also coming up in February in New Zealand. See, oh, she's you can go, go over could there. go to New Zealand. Yes. See, That's this helped. is perfect. All right, well, look, th- this sounds like it could be very promising. Um, would Yeah, look, send us um, the details of whatever the, the travel costs are. <laughs> oh, no, Michael and no. I'll fix it up, and then we'll just oh. book that in, and then you guys can go on a wonderful date <laughs> to a wedding, you lucky boy, hey? Aren't you lucky? Aren't you lucky? That we're doing this for you, eh? You should do math. <laughs> do math at the wedding together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Meth Matt can come out. We'll give you a grand. <laughs> meth make uh, Matt horny. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Shaz, I've never done, I've never done meth. Oh, yeah, they just, said, no, he said he would for a grand. He said he would they're just the trying to get me trip. to. They're trying to get me to do it, and I, I don't want. To. <laughs> you are doing it. I the next boys. Trip. Holy shit! So you guys are pretty much together now. That's no. That. <laughs> I reckon are, that's that. You guys are gone. You guys oh. are now together. That's, that's actually that. serious. It's actually a serious relationship. Agreed. Now. Okay, <laughs> we found you a girlfriend, Shaz. It's been really good chatting to you. Thank you for, for your time, Shaz, and um, we wish you and Matt all the best. And yeah, like I said, just flip me the bill for the extra travel costs, and um, Michael and I'll fix it. Holy stop. shit! You've got stop a girlfriend telling, now. Stop saying happy, you're gonna fly me places stop. and fly people. <laughs> Happy chatting to Matt Brown and we wish you guys all the best. We really do. He's got a golden, golden heart in the very center. It's surrounded by hot mince and lust sperm. But yeah. in the very center, it's a golden heart. Oh. Isn't it, Matt Brown? It just it's like a Bosley. So Pardon? It just sounds so romantic. Yeah, exactly. And what I a beautiful be. first date we've set up for you guys. You're welcome. All right, Sharon, have a lovely day. We love you. Matt Brown especially loves you very much, more than a friend, and he can't wait to see you at the wedding. See you, Shazza. Thanks, Shazza. Bye, Shaz. Bye. 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 (laughs) You have a girlfriend now. Dude, you have the best date lined up, cunt. Oh, man, that's like the sickest, illest shit ever. Does it smell like poo? Bosley. It's amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, I just got a bit of sweat dribbling yeah, down there. Sweat, dude. Yeah, I like to put it on there. <laughs> la 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 la. Oh, oh, weeks. Um, that's dude, promising, man. You have a girlfriend. Are you, are you talking to the one from last week? Oh, so uh, two updates. Holy yes, shit! Yes, two updates. Before we continue so with how dates. great Shazza is, and we're going to fly me to different parts of the world. <laughs> Um. So yes, last week so I had some good. Uh, man, she's coming to live with you. Shada, she's very nice. She's coming. To, we got him a roommate and now a I, wedding date. Uh, don't say it because I think she would actually fly yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Well, her to we're her. serious. And I'm not. What do you mean, Matt? It's anyway, only a few months. Anyway, last week, girlfriend. Last week we pointed out that Alexi bailed on us. Yeah. 
or she came back with a vengeance. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, no, nothing. She, um, because I said she just disappeared. I didn't know what happened, and then. Boom, she reappeared and sent me some chats and we've been talking. Send you some chats. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Are you guys flirting? Yeah, oh, I think so. So you've bit. seen her now? She's very um yeah, she's very uh flirty. Like it's hard Ooh, to Oh man, bro, have a good time. So she's top three. <laughs> she's top three. I, to be honest, I think trying to call a top three right now is really difficult. Yeah, he doesn't wanna he doesn't wanna show his hand yet. I get it. I get it. He wants Let's to keep, write him he down. He wants to fucking the string them all along until he finally picks three hang at the on, end. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, Michael, we'll do it later. It's going to be a task. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. We really got to talk it through? <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I reckon, it's well, she's automatically working, yeah. look, look, Matt, how can you be upset with this? You've got you've got some, a roommate yeah. if you want it there. You've got a date in Perth if you want it there. You've got girls flirting with you on the gram. What more could you fucking want, cunt? You had a fucking date? You had a fucking date with a lovely young lady? Remember? Yes. All Holy in the shit. space so of 12 weeks. It is only a matter of time. You'll be married in, I reckon, two weeks. Give us another 12 <laughs> weeks and you should have a wife hanging off your f- sores. <laughs> oh, just no. Anyway, we're moving right Holy along. To okay. <laughs> And that's a cow, which means it's time for a question of comment of the week where we have a shit board where we cut out with scissors and glue onto a board. If you win comment of the week, any comment can win comment of the week. We just quickly scroll through and just pick one at complete random. There are all the previous winners. All of the people on that board are in the running to win a thousand, another thousand dollars at the end of the year. Okay. So if you get put on this board, you'll have a one in 39 chance of winning a thousand dollars at the end of the year. I like those odds, cunt. Stand by. Stand by. That's solid odds. So Stand by. We've picked another comment. So that's a separate competition to just a random comment that's going to win $1,000. So, so we two- have comment of the week and random comment. They're two competitions. You can both win $1,000 through each of them. <laughs> He's on a fucking toilet. <laughs> He's a grown man. <laughs> He's a grown man. Oh, 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 that was so good. That was so good. But yeah, what Matt said. Okay. You're very stoned in your <laughs> delivery of things, so I need to be straight with it sometimes. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, so we've the- done. We've already done them. <laughs> yeah, I just like spraying. It's like cooling. Yeah, I could have got stuff for you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he needs it's like it a more. wet river. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Hey, oh. Hey, come now. I wonder sorry. if people pick up like the difference between the start, the bong break, and then the rest of it. All right, let's move on. All right, comment of the week. Do we have the comment of the week? We do you have sent it. it to me. Eh? I've got it here. Can you just relax? <laughs> What is it, Matt? What is it, Matt? What is it, Matt? What is it, Matt? All right, comment of the week went to Chris Cullen. Yes. And the comment is Matt's dad, Greg. (laughs) Matt's dad, Greg. That is a very good (laughs) comment. That is a good comment. (laughs) Matt's dad, Greg. Matt's dad, Greg. What was his name? There's a few dots. What was his name? Oh, Chris Cullen. So Chris Cullen, you're going on the board and you're in the run running to win. Well, you're in the running to win two sets of thousand. But one of them is a very good chance. Yeah, you've got one in in 39. 39. One in 39. 39. Fuck it. Another thousand dollars. No, 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 no. Stop putting money out. No, one in 39 if you're on the comment board. I know, but he just said another thousand. I don't know what he's talking about. Two thousand dollars, one thousand to two different people in the comments. That's two thousand dollars. Now you halved your odds to one in 24.5 chance of winning. Yeah, that's right. Wow. Two mates on math you can get if you win two. All right. My math was off just then, by the way. That's comment of the way. It's not as. Not as firm when I do yours. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It's very relaxed. And with Matt Brown, it's more like, because he's on a toilet. 
You've anyway, got to, you've got to be serious about it. All right, here we go. So yeah. these are the here, questions these are the, now. These are the questions now. <laughs> if you want us to, <laughs> <laughs> if you want us to read your question, or you, it, we read the questions with the oh. most likes. Okay, so once you write your question, have a scroll through, see which questions you like, give them a like. We read the ones with the most likes first and work our way down and see what happens. And unless we've answered them before, in which case sometimes we don't answer the most liked questions. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, top question went to. <laughs> We're fucking fucked up, man. <laughs> We're fucking <laughs> grown, man. Let's make noises. <laughs> top question went to <laughs> kill us. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Two thousand. <000. laughs> Lost my. Okay, head. here we go. All right, are you guys going to do another members dare soon? The one you guys did is one of my favorite videos, and I'd love to see another one with love from. Canada, yeah, hundred percent. Because we're sort of like, where it's hard to continually think of so many uh, pain videos. You know, we feel like we're just like recycling shit. So we will one hundred percent become new members soon. Two, two. two. That was nice. <laughs> that was very good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question is from. Oh, it's either Yasko or Jasko. Oh, like Not sure. Racist depending people. where they're from. Uh, and I can't say the last name is Omaragic. Omaragic? No, it's not. Yasko Omaragic. Question for the podcast. How is Matt Brown going to die? <coughs> <laughs> We've said this. Yeah, haven't we Have done we? this one? I don't know. We did our deaths. I was a motorcycle accident. What was Matt mine? was... I think um, some sort of uh, complications with an infection on your testicles. Oh. Oh, I don't think that was it. I don't want that one either. <laughs> well, I think that that's how you'll go, to be honest. Oh, Some I don't sort like of it. Testicle infection. How but would yours be? We said a massive, massive heart, heart attack. attack. That's right. Yeah, we all got. Sad. But I, I retract that now. I believe my heart is fine. My blood pressure's doing good. I've <laughs> been, was... Lifestyle's still not not as healthy as it can be, and I'm still. I don't feel my heart beating as much anymore. I'm not measuring it because it just freaks me out. But so what is it now? As... Kidney failure? Nah, starvation. <laughs> yeah, starvation. You die of bulimia. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. You get addicted no. to doing that. You will. Oh, it's in control. It's yeah. in control, but I get it. And now. <laughs> it's in control. Next question is from Matt Dog 99 <laughs> Question for the podcast. What does the term king hit mean? He's obviously not from Australia. Uh, a king hit is a slang term for just punching someone in the head as hard as you can. I think in other countries they call it a cheap shot. Have you ever been king hit, Matt? It doesn't need to be. I think think that's a common misconception. I could be in a fight with someone. They could be facing me and then I king hit them still. It's just as hard. It's like a haymaker that connects. I thought the king hit is when you you hit someone and they're unaware that they're about to get cleaned up. That's a coward punch. (laughs) That's a coward (laughs) punch. Fuck, it is too. What is a king hit? Or a legend swing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, a hero's punch. Oh Oh my God. Yeah, well... (laughs) Oh, I'm yeah. happy to hear people's opinions on that because I thought it was when you hit him from within. Yeah, we've knowing. been coward punched oh, before. Man, so oh, many times. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had my tooth go through my lip once with a coward punch. Yeah. And I had like a, an eye socket yeah, fracture. The, you know, I was thinking about that fucking um, the brawl in Paris the other day. I'm pretty sure that I was knocked unconscious. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens. You sort of, sort of like realize. I remember there was being no, a fight. No, because I, I came to and no one was in the <laughs> dance floor. That's what you remember. And then I, I got up and everyone had been cleared to the sides and everyone was just staring at me. And then I just walked outside <laughs> with a broken fucking nose. Well, it's like the time we were in line at like a Surface Paradise bar. And then apparently oh! you said that I got hit and you got kicked out and I just stayed in the line. Yeah. Thinking that Michael got there. fucking, was standing in a line. Michael starts an argument with some weird fuck behind us. <laughs> oh. And then Michael just, he just fucking punches Michael as hard as he can. And then I grab him and bear hug him. The security guard sees us fucking wrestling and then kicks us out. And Michael's like concussed and fuck just waiting in line <laughs> facing the front and I was like Michael and he just wouldn't respond to me and went into the fucking club <laughs> and I'm like waiting outside <laughs> that is <laughs> fucked yeah that's oh, really bad not again man we've been king it hard 
<laughs> I you remember, doing? yeah, the time in Paris, same thing. Tooth went through the lip. It's so annoying. I've had twi- like a free piercing. I don't think I've ever been king. I've had twice. I've heard the footsteps of someone coming at me, and I've ducked and gotten out of the way. But yeah, wow. I've never been king hit though. We well, do okay, video. how much would it cost for you to let us like someone <laughs> king you after you did the math? <laughs> Dude. Matt Brown gets king hit on man. Would you? How much more? Would you? Hit, would I, I don't want to get king hit at all. Oh, dude. Um, <laughs> you I'm gonna, die. And the brain sure damage as well. So maybe ten grand. I'm 35. If I was 25, I'd 10 take grand. it. Ten grand for a king hit now. I'd have to get 50k. <laughs> I wouldn't do it for 50k. Yeah, you could die. You could yeah. fully die. And who's hitting me? Because uh, James Lee. John Farnham. I've seen James Lee. John Farnham. <laughs> John Farnham. Yeah, but he goes right. 50%. Yeah, John Farnham. I'll take a king hit from John Farnham, but don't put like a James Lee on it because <laughs> I've seen James Lee hit the machine before and it's fucking terrifying. Well, imagine he just, you're the voice trying to understand. He's just screaming <laughs> at <laughs> it. <laughs> make a noise and make it. Oh, bang. I would watch that. I would pay some money, but only if you're okay after. Matt Being Brown gets king, king hit by John, John Farnham. Farnham. On Man. Wait, can you <laughs> message him? Message him, ask him if he'll do it. I don't it. know if he'll have Instagram. <laughs> we'll do it yeah. later. Um, so, all right, next question is from Toxic Plays. Um, Marty, Michael, why do farts smell worse in the shower? It's a great, like, sort of. We actually mis- have a mystery. video idea yeah, about that. Um, do, does everything smell worse in the shower? But, like, oh, I guess we could just sort of go we'll through. Take it different types of shit, maybe some vomit and piss. Yeah, what sure. else? How do you step it up? It'd be good if we had Surf heaps swimming? of golly. Surf. How's the cum bottle coming along? Matt well, Brown has a wry smile on his face. Is it getting there? How much? Oh do this with your fingers. Show I'm us how much. I'm not showing you anything. Please. All I'm going to tell you is I have attempted to start it out of curiosity of what would happen to it. You test it out. To test it out and... I couldn't resist, like I couldn't resist the golly bottle smelling it just to check after like, I can't remember how long. And it is quite fucked. It's just dry what, on the, the sides? Yeah, it is. Or have you made fucked. it liquid? No, it doesn't go dry. When oh, you're wow, in, so when you've it, got it's liquid It's like golly, there. it's, yeah, it's. Oh well, my a, God, how much have you much? done? Not much. Like and that? Just don't you worry about how much, okay? <laughs> I can't do. I can't shy. do this. I can't do this, he's okay? Being shy. Because if I do this, everyone's gonna know. Oh, he's masturbating a lot. <laughs> all right? I don't want to. Oh, so it's like not revealing. That. All right. Everyone already knows that. But just that. know that it's not a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're loving it, Kelly. You're getting paid to do your favorite pastime. <laughs> yeah, oh. getting paid to masturbate. <laughs> Have um, you counted how many loads it is? No, fuck Can you <gasps> keep yes, track? Yes, I know oh, how many it is. Keep a number. Yeah, don't stress. I know how many it is, and I will continue. And whoever can guess it gets a thousand dollars. It would be. Oh, fuck! Oh, I reckon no. it would be like thousands. Well, the episode before with the reveal, we'll get you guys yeah. to guess. Whoever yep. guesses it correctly, yeah, can get fucking a. You know, you get you have those um the, at, at work. They'll do guess how many smarties are in the jar. Yeah. Guess how many loads in this bottle, cunt. <laughs> That's yeah. money mine for the actual podcast, cunt. <laughs> We're fucking pubes flying around, cunt. Sticking to me foot, sticking oh. to me legs. Dun, dun, dun. All right, that was a bit out of control. Yuck! They're on my leg. <sighs> um. Our right, next question is from Ringworm D zero zero one. Fucking Ringworm, um, eh? Is there any warning or text calls that go out to the neighbors before a video or a podcast so you don't scare the shit out of them? No, not in the neighbors here. They're fine with it. They're used to it, count too, and it's pretty fucking soundproof, count too, in this fortress. It's fucking fortress in here, count too. Well, yeah, and they're all cool. They're all lovely people. Yeah, they're all fine with it, count too. <laughs> next question is from your face. Um, uh, you guys have explained before what you think your parents would think about what you do, but um, how do you think your parents would describe what you do for a living to someone else? I think mom's told me. I think she just says that um, uh, I'm a business owner or something, or she, or um, just that I make videos or some shit like that. Maybe. Something like a one sentence fucking try and move on to the next subject type reply. Yeah, I don't know. I think they, yeah, I'll have to ask them. They, I work in the media industry. <laughs> the meat industry? Yeah, the, the meat media. industry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One of those two, I think, <laughs> that they would say that. Oh, yeah, he works He's in a the, butcher. He works in the meat industry. 
He's a butcher. <laughs> have no understanding of what we do. They just listen to one Arnold, Arnold Fine prank call about his pigs and just assume that that's what we do. <laughs> Fucking hell. And the butcher. It's all just about the butcher. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Next question is from Clo Clo. Um, toilet. Question for the pod: How disgusted or weirded out on a scale of zero to ten were your girlfriends with the podcast last week? P.S. Bosley is the coolest dude. Uh, they were fine with it. Yeah, they yeah. thought that month that held back like ten percent, and it's probably right. But some people reacted oh, really positively that you yeah, guys. No, were it was, the prank call was one of my favorites. Like Rhonda is the best to listen to. But yeah, that, no, that yeah, they don't mind. They look, this happens at home too, cunt. <laughs> um, question for the podcast, um, Matt, what's the story on your dad getting stabbed in the face? Was that not prepared? <laughs> <laughs> was not prepared for you to say that. <laughs> Um, so last week, I think I mentioned in chatter that my dad got stabbed in the face. Um, I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, he was in a, years ago, he was in a 7-Eleven and, and a robbery took place and a dude walked up to him and stabbed him in the face. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh. Yeah, both of you. Anyway, um, he got caught. He got caught from the ear down to the cheek. It was also more what, like was a, he being robbed? Yeah, the, the 7-Eleven was getting robbed. And he, oh, and so the it guy wasn't just a random attack? No, <laughs> the guy walked in there. The guy walked in there and was wanted to, you know, make oh, a fuck. scene to make sure he got the cash. And did he get the cash? And he said, yeah, he got the cash. Your dad doesn't even have a scar there, though. No, it's healed up pretty good. He was, It was pretty sliced open when it first happened. I wish I could have had a photo Did he get a big payout? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably would Do you ever call your name, your dad by his name, Greg? No. It's always dad. Sometimes. Would you do a video where you go up to him and just call him <laughs> Greg? Yeah. Do you want me to, I'll do that next time I see him. I would love to see that, please. Right. What do you want me to say? Hey, Greg. Kiss yeah. his cheek with an open mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 Oh, 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 how much Greg. would it cost oh, for you to kiss your dad on the cheek with an open mouth? No. On meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the meth would probably make it easier. 100% it would. Oh, wow. 100% All right. it would. <laughs> um, next question is from, from Romano Peterson, I think. Um would you ringworms ever consider doing another series similar to which sport is the scariest? Yes. Yeah, mm. look, we want to do a Marty vs. Michael series. I don't know when yet. We're working hard to get a backlog of videos. We're like two and a half weeks ahead. So if we were to stop filming right now, we'd have two and a half weeks of videos to come out. But remember, it's hard for us to get ahead. We post three Facebook... I was thinking about it the other day. We do three Facebook videos on the other page. One on the on the main and YouTube, plus fucking the podcast, plus a website video, plus TikToks. Sounds like you should hire Matt Brown. It's fucking insane, yeah. cunt. Oh, what do you reckon? I'll ask that question. Get around, get around, I, I get, get around, around, get around. Yeah. Ooh, I, I get, get around. around. Get around. Next question from Bryce Carter. When will Matt Brown ever get a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> well, I reckon two weeks. You have a wife. Two weeks. I'm going to be married. That's very Mate, I That's very optimistic. Look, I reckon by the end of the season, you'll have a fucking thing on your arm. I'm going to have to have a thing. You remember the doctor's arm went all the way up <laughs> to his shoulder. As <laughs> he pushed back against him. <laughs> You've murdered someone. <laughs> and the last. That is so fun. We've lost him again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, okay. <laughs> when you're ready, Michael. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. Michael. And then his head spun around 180 degrees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Okay. All right, 
Michael? Okay, I'm good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you ready? Sorry. 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 You're waiting to see if he goes off again. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, next question. Oh, sorry. Last question is from Ed Boy Con. Um, what are uh, what are your guilty pleasures? What? Sugar is fucking oh, yeah. good. I love some treat. Oh, oh man, it treat. is addictive. I had half a packet of pastels, pastel lollies, Clinkers. like the sugar coated lollies. <laughs> I had a Kit Kat chunky. And then I had half a bag of lollies again. I had oh, too much breakfast. sugar. No, that was Sunday. Yeah. Sunday, Monday night. Sunday morning. Last night. Too much. I, I can gorge on sugar. Yeah, no. You have it like it's a meal and you've learned that habit through your childhood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come in. But yeah, we fucking had a day. lollies. Had a day off yesterday because it's a public holiday here in Australia. And yeah, it's been, we've been naughty boys. I've been eating pretty badly, eh? My back sore from this toilet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should try try lean back. Lean, yeah, no, that lean. hurts. It, it's because my it goes it's, into my back. Why don't you get no. a pillow or something, man? No. God, just holy get a, shit! Get a pillow. Yeah, get a pillow to put there. But you got toilet cover you could put there. A All sorts of things. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, well, we may as well have a bunk break. Such a good boy. And we're back. Look at Bosley, everyone. See? Such a perfect animal. I got a pillow. Look at his little ears. It's a bit darker than the rest of him. It's unbelievable. I love it when you, like, rub he's, him. He's nine now. He's nine years old, Brown. He fully sighs. He can sigh, Matt. I yeah, know. He goes... <sighs> yeah, if we're being too loud or something, he'll do that. Or if we're... Sigh and leave. If he hasn't had dinner or he wants to go for a... W? Yeah, he ends up being such an annoying fuck then, doesn't he? Oh. Anyway, so, moving right along to the German segment. Okay? Now how are we doing this one? So now, um, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we first started the German segment, it was me reading a German sentence and then giving Michael a few options to choose which what it means. Okay. You've got to guess. So it's pretty much German or gibberish, but it's all German. You have to guess what it means. We'll do, we'll do three. Okay, we'll give it a chance. We'll Let's go three. back to it. Thank you, Nikki, for doing this again. Sorry. Nice and gentle with Michael. <laughs> oh! <clears throat> All right. Did I explain what we're doing already? I can't remember. Yeah, what are we doing? I'm very confused. Are you just going to read it out and Michael's going to guess? Yeah, so I read out and the And you can sentence. guess too, yeah, Mr. Yeah, Brown. Yeah, you guess too, Brown Town. I'm not good at this. Number one. <clears throat> Die ist weg vom Fenster. Die ist weg vom Fenster. Now that could either mean, number one, she's cr she is away from the window, or number two, nobody cares about her anymore. I'm going to go, <laughs> nobody cares about her anymore. I reckon the first one, because... Yeah. Michael is correct. One nil Michael. One. one. It is. It means she's away from the window. Let's okay. take, hand me, I'll make a pile for the used ones because we get confused. You love that. piles of yeah, used. Yeah, the bottom one as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Used. Oh, Bosley. Dafür lege ich meine Hand ins Feuer! Dafür lege ich meine Hand ins Feuer! I'm struggling from Bosley. <laughs> that could either mean, for that I lay my hands in fire, or... I promise, I swear. I reckon it's the first one. It yeah, lay my hands in fire. That was demonic. You're both correct. 2-1 to Michael. Sorry. I don't know that last word. Have you done three yet? It's been a long time. Sorry. This is the third one now. Sorry. Ich werfe das Handtuch! Ich werfe das Handtuch! Which could either mean I give up or I throw the towel. I throw the towel. Oh, yeah, because all is towel, of course. Shut Second up. One. You don't know that. Yep. 
You were both correct. Michael wins three two. All right. And now that is the German segment. How did you, did go, you get punished? How did you go playing along at home, everyone? Did you guess three out of three? Do let to, let us you, know in the wow, comments. Wow, that is good interaction with fans. You know us. Do you want to do a punishment? Mm, okay. Yeah, I, I will have some. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I'm okay, so happy now, right now. Since Matt lost now, I get to hit him as hard as I can with his wooden spoon. <laughs> All right? Oh, Where do you with, want it, cunt? You on your fucking belly or what? I'm just not feeling it. This will be with the might of the doctor's spirit. In I'm not mighty. feeling it tonight. Please you, be nice. You fucking kill the man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you backed up a bit. Yeah, that yeah, was it made 80%. it worse though. Oh, sorry. That well, maybe the doctor's okay with you killing him. He wanted. Yeah, it was only. He a wanted doctor. to die. It was only a doctor. I thought. It's only, it's only a man. Yeah. <laughs> the spirit of his hit was not that bad, so you're fine. He only killed just a man. It's all right. Show me the marks. Show me the marks. Oh, Show me the marks. Uh, Matt Brown has a little red welt. I hit him hard with a wooden spoon. Now we are moving right along. No PO box this week. We don't have anything sent in. If you do want to send us anything, remember send it to PO box two five six Tagum four zero one eight Queensland Australia. Send us whatever you want. Send us your body parts. Send us your crazy shit. Send us stuff to eat. Send us stuff to apply to our skin. We'll send do us whatever a, you want, baby. We'll send me a girlfriend. The podcast. Send me a girlfriend. Send Matt parts of a girlfriend. I'll put it you together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we should get a mannequin. And then whatever you send in at the end of the season, whatever's on the mannequin yeah. is your now dude, wife. Dude, that's like a requifton. We build like a requifton. <laughs> yeah, dude. Can we that's, do that? That was, that was my envision for the PO box at the beginning of we're, the season. We're getting, what's his name? Armoured? The, the oh, the stop. mannequin? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was his name again? I can't remember. Chestnut? Hamish? Chestnut? Stop. <laughs> Chestnut. We we build him, we put him here, and whatever people send in, we add to the mannequin. I can't no, remember. That's your name. their wife. Because people are going to send in parts of themselves. Yeah, yeah. Then, well, we've already yeah. got pretty much a person. We've got, lying we've got pubes to put on it. We've got, we've got, we got piss teeth. to put all over it. We've got teeth. Have we got teeth? We've got hair, pubic hair for its head hair as we've well. We've got cum so we could cut a hole and stick it in there. Holy shit. We have the perfect. We're going to build a new We have, we have fingernails? Yeah, can we? No. I reckon we no, we, we're doing it. We have to. Anyway. Stop. The PO box is going to be we'll put, coming And the festering. mannequin goes where the fully actual sign is. It goes where that whole bush, bookshelf is. So we can take that out. The mannequin goes there. If people start smell. sending us parts of themselves, we will uh, put it on the mannequin, okay? Where is the mannequin? It's in the garage. Sorry. And like... What the fuck was its name? We have to dress it in something. So some interesting clothes. Its name. Anyway. Yeah, I can't remember either Hamish. I was like, um... Yeah, it's gone. Alberto? It's fucking gone. If someone said Abraham. It, Lincoln. Nah, Abraham's an invisible man. Oh, yeah, true. Two. All right. Prank Ooh. call time, everybody. All right? Here we fucking go. I'm going to call a hotel as Arnold Fine. We like calling hotels now because they're always open. <laughs> Crazy, right? I'm going to call a hotel as Arnold Fine and say that I have a pig that I need to sleep with me in the room. Because um, it's my service pig. Do you understand? It's my service pig. I need it with me. I suffer from anxiety. Arnold Fine. Arnold Fine. I have a pig. Sorry. Maybe 50 kilo pig. Hmm. And say that the pig Identifies is a dog. As no, a dog. no, yeah, and it is an actual dog. The pig, dog, same thing. Yeah. Pig dog, same thing, yeah. The same thing, same exact uh, animal. Pig dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm excited. Womp. We, yeah. All right, here we go. Maybe even have Rhonda in the background abusing him. They won't let you fucking stay with it. We could pre record Rhonda and then just play her throughout. Oh, <laughs> yes, let's do that. Anyway, uh, you're confusing the listeners. For those, would, yeah, would for those wondering sense. at home, that's Matt Brown playing with himself. <laughs> He's playing. All right, everybody, here we go. Stay with it. <laughs> <clears throat> Remember, they'll be able to hear you if you're talking. To 
no reason, Gary speaking. Uh, hello, uh, my name Arnold Fine. Uh, I uh, need uh, to book a room for maybe uh, two, three nights uh, over weekend. What date are you looking for, sir? Uh, maybe Friday, Saturday, and uh, I not know about uh, Sunday yet. Uh, I find out, but uh, definitely uh, Friday, Saturday. Okay, have you uh, seen uh, or? Uh, no, I uh, just to Google um, a hotel and uh, you uh, show up uh, at the top there. Um, I travel through uh, Brisbane, uh, need a uh, place to stay. Huh? Yo, uh, what's your phone number, they say? Okay, uh, telephone uh, number 0409 mm-hmm. 0409 mm-hmm. 0 mm-hmm. uh, mm-hmm. uh, So, no worries, no problem. And what was your name, sir? Uh, my name is Arnold Fine. Arnold uh, A-R-N-O-L-D Just just one sec. So, so you're looking for Friday and Saturday night, right? Friday, Saturday night, yes. This Friday, week. Saturday. This week, this week huh? okay. you understand. Huh? You write that down. Huh? This week. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. not uh, next week. Uh, this week, uh, f- six, 6 May, 7 May. Huh? You understand? Huh? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, that's okay, right. okay. I just, uh, I just uh, make a show. Huh? So the room rate will be 159 for the night. Would that be okay? Uh, okay. Do you have... Uh, Cheaper room and uh, what mit uh, mini bar and such thing uh, does included or uh, extra? No, no, we don't have. We got mini bar. You can purchase from the reception. Okay, okay. And, and that, that will be extra, yeah. Okay, okay. So I come. Uh, I get a mini bar from a reception. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, yeah. that okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What was your first name? This, you, you want me to book the room for you? Arnold or? Fine. My name Arnold Fine. Arnold, right? What, what is it? Arnold Fine. My name uh, Arnold Fine. How do you spell your surname? This, uh, my surname uh, F. Uh-huh. E. E. I. N. N. E. Sure. Arnold Fine. I uh, have. Uh, yeah. I uh, okay. I have a question. Uh, you allow uh, su- service animal uh, in room or not? Uh, do you have the um, certificate with you? Yes, I have a service uh, uh, certificate with me. Service and certificate. Yes, yep. yes, I have. So if, you, if you have the service dog with you. It, uh, it's uh, a we, pig. We, yeah, yeah. If you have a service dog there with you, we need no, a no, certificate it, uh, with you. No, no, he has service uh, pig. Very similar to a uh, dog. Uh, same size. Uh, service Pig, is it? Surface pig, yes. Uh, for uh, mental health, and uh, he uh, bent over for me, uh, pick thing up, and um, bring me uh, my drink, etc. Uh, yeah, my service pig. I have certificate. Yeah. Uh, I have would a. You be able to, I'll, I'll double check with my manager. Would you be email that to us? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I email uh, the service certificate, yes. Uh, yeah, if you can do that, then I can get back to you with the oh. uh, with the booking, you know. Okay, uh, when I come uh, on Friday, please uh, have a bowl of, of water for the pig um, and a separate towel for the pig. I have shower with pig. Okay, so make sure. Uh, can to... I just put you on hold for one second? Uh, okay, check. okay, I'll okay, okay. okay. I understand. Huh? Hello, there, sir. Hello. Yeah, sorry, sir. I just checked with the manager. He never heard of any service pig. Um, okay, okay. I have a certificate. Uh, what the, the big problem? Uh, pig, dog, uh, same thing. Uh, the, the same animal. Uh, exactly the same animal. Uh, dog, yeah, could, pig. Could you, could you tell just, us the details? Could yeah, you of course. Of course. I, I, I already the say. Here. I happily do uh, the detail. Uh, and uh, little the discrimination uh, against surface pig. Surface pig very common uh, where I'm from the pig uh, most intelligent uh, animal uh, even no, 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 even we, more than a human even more than human sometimes uh, my pig uh, he fix my car he sees a very intelligent creature a little bit of poo and here and there and he trample through the poo and take it through the heart does not matter he a, he a pig he service pig he's a service pig and he uh, very helpful huh 
Nana will try to look after you. So if you uh, can, just, thank uh, you. Uh, thank send you. Send us the certificate. That's uh, right. You know? uh, yeah, I'll okay. give you my email address. Okay, uh, let me uh, find a uh, pen here, flicking around. Oh, I can't fuck uh, the fuck the pen. Uh. Fuck me, uh, the fucking pen. Okay, okay, I have pen. Okay, what uh, your email, huh? Is reservation that? Oh. <laughs> Cheeky, huh? <laughs> I have my pen. Huh? Okay, I send through uh, my paper. It, um, or paper from a uh, uh, country in uh, Eastern Europe. So uh, I show you uh, the paper from uh, the, my country and uh, everything okay. Uh, but uh, after I show you uh, the papers, I still need a special uh, bowl for pig to eat and uh, extra towel. Uh, very important. You write that down. Huh? My wife is sick. She cannot uh, yep. come with me. You understand my wife? She's sick at home and uh, the service yep. pick is uh, kind of uh, my portable uh, wife. I take her with me. Huh? You understand? Huh? Yeah. No worries. No problem. Okay. Send so, us the details and we'll be in touch. Yeah. Okay. I uh, email you now Thanks. and uh, yeah. I uh, uh, call um, you back after you see. Huh? Yeah, no worries. Somebody will give me both of my money. Okay, I, uh, I write down. I, uh, I write down a reservation. Huh? I, I, yeah, I, write, I write that down. Huh? I write it down. I have a reservation uh, Friday, Saturday night. Huh? You. Yes, as I said, reservation is not confirmed. Somebody from our office will give you. Uh, both. Yeah, that's a very uh, disrespect. Huh? You talk about me like that. Uh, I have service talk, no, no worries. Huh? Service pick, uh, look down on, uh, spat that. No, no, we just, we just need to double check. That okay, story. okay, I understand. Okay, I, no I love, I uh, respect, uh, respect uh, your strength. Huh? No, it's a no Okay, Thank okay, you okay, Thank you so okay, much. I'm fine. <laughs> ah, you f- <laughs> oh, oh my god, Arnold is back. Whoa! Oh. Arnold is a good dude. <laughs> Man, I really want to email them just a picture of Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> or just fucking send them something fucked. Oh, wow. Should we leave their email in the podcast and then just everyone can flood them with um, the service papers of a pig? <laughs> yeah. oh. Or just pictures of pigs or dogs? Yeah, maybe. Oh, or maybe what about send the best pig to fully actual? Yeah, well, send, we'll the, email send the best service certificate of a pig to Matt to Matt Brown. <laughs> Matt Brown's Instagram. He was to see we the best service pig. Oh, just look at it. Just have a look at it. Yeah, or the either one, mine or the fully actual. <laughs> oh yeah, Matt Brown one 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 one. It's four ones. Shit. One 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 I one. Chase it. Sorry. Yeah. Anyway, guys, don't forget to like, hub, subscribe, comment if you had a giggle to give us five star on Spotify. Check out our Instagram and fucking, TikTok too. Yeah, it's do all the things that we've said and I can't wait to get out of here and see you all again next week. We are the best. We are the best. Holy <laughs> shit. Matt said it. it. I love my mum. Yeah, he does. Fuck yeah. Get her. Go and get her. I love my dad. He got stabbed in the face. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Oh, sorry. You also got attacked by a chainsaw. Anyway, we'll talk about that next week. We'll see you guys <laughs> next week. We're the best. We're the best.